Online bullying is a serious issue that has basically decimated anyone's self-esteem and self-image if you've been around the internet long enough. Behind every anonymous anime profile pic, there is the biggest degenerates and losers on the entire planet with nothing better to do but to insult other people. And you know what? Regular people can do fine with some insults, you know, even if it may hurt their feelings, they'll get over it. And you know, personally, I've experienced it just like anybody else, you know, if you spend time on the internet, you should expect that. So wh why the hell am I talking about online bullying today? Well, there's been recent news about Chris Chan, also known as Christine Weston Chandler, uh, Chandler, I believe that's how you say it has been released from jail without any charges against them. Now, I'm gonna go into details about the crimes later on, but if you don't know who Chris Chan is, then I'll just give you a quick rundown. Chris Chan is someone with a uh, mental disorder, I believe uh, autism is what they have, uh, which causes them to not have the, you know, the best mental faculties to handle complex things. Chris Chan uploaded videos to the internet which were, to be honest, pretty cringe and you know, some people made fun of them. Uh, you may know some of their works such as Sonichu, uh, maybe the video of them uh, drinking the, their own S-P-E-R-M, okay? And this is only some of the embarrassing and disgusting things that Chris Chan has posted online, alright? I mean, you can see why people took an interest in Chris Chan, which considering the things that they were doing, you know, spurred people to comment negatively, and some of them even to take it even further to just troll, troll Chris Chan just to get a reaction. Chris Chan then responded, basically acknowledging the trolls, which led to a feedback loop of trolls just antagonizing Chris Chan even more. And you know, that would get a reaction out of Chris Chan, which would lead to even more trolls and yada yada yada, you know, you got a feedback loop that's getting even worse and worse as time goes on, alright? So this has basically continued for decades, literal decades, since Chris Chan has been active on the internet since I believe around 1999 is when they started posting. And it all came to a climax in 2021. When Chris Chan, you know, assaulted their own mother. Now, this is a very, very disgusting act and horrifying for everyone that was basically following Chris Chan. Because if you know anything about the Chris Chan situation, uh, uh, Chris Chan's mother has dementia. And Chris Chan, for some god awful reason, had abused her. Out of all the weird and disgusting things that Chris Chan has ever done on the internet, this takes the cake for the most abhorrent thing that they have ever done. I mean, it's literally just elder abuse and incest. It's, it's fucking terrible, alright? Chris Chan was arrested on August 1st, 2021, and for about two years, we haven't heard much from Chris Chan while the case was still ongoing. Uh, however, a couple of uh, days ago on August 8, 2023, Chris Chan had gotten their case dismissed, which is a bad call in my opinion. The court has evidence of what has happened, you know, between Chris Chan and their mother. And I guess over the course of two years, they just decided that this wasn't enough to convict Chris Chan. It looks like that Chris Chan uh, does not have the self-inhibition to control themselves, nor do they have the capacity to, you know, take criticism healthily, uh, which, you know, could have played a role in how the judge ruled in this case. But this is still an adult, all right, that we're talking about here. And even if they have the mental deficiencies that render them at least, like, mentally not an adult, they should have they should still be held responsible for their own actions. For the reason why this case got dismissed, I believe it's because Chris Chan had served about like two years in jail, uh, which would have counted towards the time served if they had been convicted of their crimes. Uh, another reason that I saw online is that Chris Chan would 
have, you know, a defense attorney that would be provided by the state. And, you know, if they got to the trial phase, the defense could just argue that Chris Chan did not have, you know, the mental capacity to control their actions, to not abuse their own mother. Now, I believe that's a fair point. I think if they went to the trial uh, phase, then maybe a jury would have, you know, been conflicted about the whole situation because Chris Chan is really, really pitiable. I mean, you have to feel bad for the guy, but Jesus. Now, Chris Chan has not completely gotten away with, you know, doing the deed. Uh, from what I understand, Chris Chan is now under, like, super heavy monitoring and they're not allowed to post anything on the internet according to the rules of the group home that they're currently residing in and there's also a, I'm guessing like a bunch of people that are supposedly monitoring Chris Chan's like finances and uh, they're not able to visit their mom any further like thank god you know after what happened I hope they they never see their mother again like Jesus Christ, dude. This has not stopped Chris Chan from going online again. Uh, there's been some activity on their social media, such as uh, DeviantArt. And there are like a whole bunch of stuff, especially uh, pony-related stuff. Which, uh, 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 okay. And although as of right now, um, you know, other social media that Chris Chan has... Um, it, it, they're not been they haven't been posting anything and at the end of the day Chris Chan just needs to not be allowed near the internet ever again because time and time again has revealed that Chris Chan will just do the most degenerate things in the world because of some words on the internet and considering that it's the internet we're talking about here there will be a near infinite supply of people just willing to gold Chris Chan into doing another heinous act like two years ago, all right? And I truly believe that the best thing for Chris Chan and everybody else is just to get them institutionalized somewhere uh, where there will be treatment, there will be prescription drugs, and there will be monitoring for the rest of Chris's life because it's really, really obvious that they cannot do so themselves. Anyways, that's what I had on my mind today and I just wanted to get it out before uh, you guys leave. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.